Hi guys, I'm here to hopefully help you figure out how to use maps uh, with uh, your mobile device so that you can actually take what we have on the website and use it out on the trail. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do, go to sastrail.com and when the page comes up it should hopefully look something like this. Now depending on when you're looking at this, uh, the page may have uh, changed a little bit, but as long as you see the SAS Trail uh, Riders uh, logo up at the top here, you should be good. So next thing we're going to do is click on the Maps page, and uh, here's our disclaimer. Now our disclaimer says that these maps have been created by multiple parties and the information within them cannot be verified. SAS Trail Riders does not accept any responsibility for errors, omissions, or accuracy. There are no warranties expressed or implied, including the safety or passability of any trail. The use of any of these maps are for recreational use and are at your own risk. However, notification of errors will be appreciated. So that's just basically to cover our butt on this. So uh, I click, I understand the risk. Now here we're on our maps page. We've got our different map products that are available. A um, couple of them uh, that we've used in the past are Every Trail and uh, uh, one a little bit more recent is Gaia GPS. Now, uh, Every Trail is uh, one of my favorite map programs because if you look at it here, you know you can see where all the maps are. You can just quickly, uh, simply click on the links and it'll take you right to the maps. Super easy to use. You can uh, have it on your mobile device as well. The downside is that uh, this uh, uh, program or this website has been bought by another company and they have almost completely abandoned the, uh, the uh, program or the website and it has been uh, barely accessible in the last little while. Um, so uh, we're not going to use it because I don't want to put all my eggs in that basket. So we are going to use Google Maps. Uh, we're going to use a, a program that's solid, reliable, and is going to be here for a long time to come. So click on the uh, on the icon here for Google Maps, and that's going to take us into uh, our uh, zone map. Now, our zone is just a, a way of trying to separate uh, throughout Saskatchewan where the different maps are. Now, the southern part of the province has a lot less uh, forest and stuff, so um, zone 1 and Zone 2 are not going to have a lot of trail maps in them, probably ever. Um, but that's just the way the Saskatchewan is, so almost everything is going to be in Zone 3. Um, I will get as many maps as I can to the other zones, but uh, today for this purpose we're going to go into Zone 3. So click on the Zone 3 icon, and that'll take you in here. And for uh, this example, we could use any one of these, but uh, for today's uh, use, let's just use the... Middle Lake uh, Railroad Trail. So we're going to click on that. And that's going to take you from the SAS Trail Riders website into the uh, Google Maps uh, website. And so this window is actually uh, viewed on Google Maps. Now, one of the first things that you have to do at this uh, point is to look up in the top right hand corner. And in this little circle here, you should see an icon representing your Google account. So whether or not you've got just a Gmail or you've got uh, a full YouTube account or whatever, you want to see an icon here um, with your information in it so that you know that it is actually you that is logged in. That's the only way that this is going to work because uh, in the second part of this video, we're going to go to your mobile device. We're going to log into uh, Google Maps on that device. And if it can't synchronize between the two, this uh, tutorial is going to be for nothing. So uh, as long as you can see that there, the next uh, step is just simply clicking this star right here. Click that star, and that actually means that it's now connected it to your Google Maps account, and uh, we're going to go to the uh, device right away, and you'll see now that that map is going to show up in there. One other thing that I will show you on here is that if you decide that you would like to export this trail out into some other program or some other device, you're going to go up to these three dots here, you're going to click on that, and you're going to see the uh, option here to download to KML. Now that is going to download the map that we have on this page to a KML file. You can import it into whatever you want that is compatible with KML maps and uh, use it on that. So that's just another option. So now let's go on to the mobile device. Okay, so on your mobile device, what you will do is you will open up Google Maps. And what you'll want to do when you first get into the app is to click on the three bars up in the beside the search field 
And you'll want to look and make sure that you've got this same icon that we were looking at on the uh, uh, on the web page um, to make sure that you are signed into your Google account on this. So this is the same picture that we saw on that. So now you just click on your places. And then on the last tab here under maps, we should see Middle Lake Railroad Trail. We shall open that. And there we go, it's the very trail that we saw on the desktop. Now, if we were, if I was somewhere in this area, which I'm not at this time, um, you would actually see me as a blue dot and we could follow this trail exactly as it's laid out. And that's all there is to it. Um, now, the one thing that I should mention is that you may not always be in uh, data range when you're doing this. So there's another little shortcut that you can do in order to make sure that you um, can still get access to this map even when you're outside. So again, we're gonna hit those three little bars on the side and we're gonna go to offline areas. So um, you're gonna click on the plus down here and it is going to look at the map. Now it's gonna say download may take up to 175 megabytes and I have um, seven point, well, I've basically got seven gigabytes available on this, or 7,000 megabytes available. So at this point, I just say download, and uh, we're going to call this uh, Middle Lake. And save. And then on it and you can see that it's actually downloading it as we speak so now when I'm in that area I can still use the GPS on the phone but I don't have to worry about not being able to be within data range of being able to for it to be able to actually draw the map on the screen for me because I will have that drawn map actually saved on my phone and that is it hopefully this is going to get you guys out into the trail and uh, using these maps uh, the way they were intended. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.